So what to expect this second half? I mean, Pogba's just lost it in the middle. He could have slipped in Yotta. He slips in Salah. 5-0. That's Pogba's fault. 5-0. I mean, it's he's got a hat trick. Salah's got a hat trick at Old Trafford. Paul Pogba stuck on it in the middle. The crowd, the crowd, the ground's going to empty. Like the crowd, the ground will empty. It's just <laughs> I ain't got nothing left to start shouting anymore. Yeah. Do you want an analogy? They're about as useful as a solar powered torch. Yeah, I've, I've got loads of those, but at the end of the day, I haven't got much more to say. Maguire looks like he's running through porridge. Salah just never looks in any trouble. David De Gea's conceded five goals and couldn't do anything about any of them. And it's just men against boys. It's it's a shambles. And the, the scary thing is the club aren't the club are so thick, they weren't expecting this. They haven't even had it. They, they won't have had any phone calls. There'll be nothing in they won't have prepped anything. They won't have a bloody clue. Well, there'll be, a, you know, at best they'll probably go for another interim. It'll be Darren Fletcher, interim manager, or something stupid like that. Well, I wonder if any ex-players are comfortable enough to not be biased now. Or are they still going to put their mates first? Kenny Dalglish is laughing his head off. Sir Alex Ferguson looks devastated. The thing is, we talk about history and we talk about recovery. And we were, ne we were never, we, I, don't, I don't think we've ever been in this position against Liverpool. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I, well, certainly not. We've never been in this situation. This is as low as it gets. This is lower than a worm's arse. This is, this is, this is not, it's, it's almost, it's so low you can't rant. This is must, this must be what it was like for Arsenal when they lost 8 2. It gets to a point where you just like, I can't, I, what, what can you say?